Sexy laziness, stoic, handsome bravado. <laughs> Albert, I think, is, is Eric really just a bunch of years in the future. Because in a lot of ways, I, I connect with this character so much. It, it's been a lot of happenstance where he finds himself in a crazy situation and he finds a way to deal with it and he always comes out on top just because he's very, very lucky. And not because of any skill or any discernible intelligence that he has. It's just that he's very, very lucky. He's more about thinking about things in a bigger way than necessarily the details of it. He doesn't need to be bothered with the details. He, he, he likes the big picture. He's a big picture guy. Generally speaking, we don't want to assist the company in improving devices of torture that will be used against us. What's all that? Oh, that's just junk. These panels are tempting targets for meteorites. He's getting knocked loose and just hang around. I think I think a lot of of, of Albert is is carefree. Albert can serve as a goofy wingman for uh, Don. I have a feeling that this becomes kind of like a almost Han Solo Chewbacca kind of thing, where they become this inseparable pair and and they have all these different adventures on the on the deck. Everything is in the now, and it's really cool to live in the moment as Albert. What do I do? Turn the ship! Which way? Are you serious? Right, 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 right! Right, 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 okay. Shit! Whoa, whoa! Grab the get let go of the controls! Well, I started out in Chicago, where I met Carrie. We did, um, we did, we worked at the Goodman together, um, during, uh, Let the Eagle Fly, a musical about Cesar Chavez. But that's basically where I started, is on stage with the Goodman, Victory Gardens, I'm mostly, I mean, almost all exclusively in Chicago. Um, and then discovered improv and comedy at Improv Olympic in Second City in Chicago and, and was lucky enough to study with Del Close, um, the godfather of American comedy. And that's like invaluable, priceless moments of my life hanging with him. With that, I took that to LA. I produced a, a web series called Bombshell Beauties where I played Manuel Coco Lopez. And then I, <laughs> and then I, and then um, what I've, recently been working on is a show called Mini Pacquiao, which is, it follows the, the adventures of a midget fan of Manny Pacquiao, the fighting pride of the Philippines, the, the big boxer. You can check it out on minipacquiao.com. Blood, blood. I'm hoping Deck Tex is just one of the big things that happens and we can go forward and I can become a huge celebrity just like my hero, Eddie Murphy. <laughs>